Hello friends, it's Dave here from Save Decks and welcome to our discussion about Super Animal Royale. I've got Sophie here with me. Hello. And we wanted a younger perspective on this game, so we've brought in a very special guest. We've got Marcus. Hello. Hello there. So this is a game that launched on the Switch just last week. Um, on the day this video goes up, it will be a week since it came to Switch. <laughs> And um, it's basically a, a free-to-download uh, Battle Royale game in the vein of something like Fortnite. I first played this and when we got our Xbox, and I played it a few times, I thought, that nah, looks that's fine, you know, but I don't think I'll play it much. Then it came to Switch, and I thought, I'll play this more since it's handheld, and um, yeah, I have played it more. Yeah, we um, played it loads. Yeah, so Marcus, what did you think of this game when you first got it? When did you hear, first hear about it? Well, when you were going to do a Mario Kart 8 stream, you, I hear that you were going to play that game, so I decided I would get that game, since it was free to download. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I've really enjoyed it. I'm already at level 23 on the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. I'm on like 14. <laughs> and also, I usually play mostly squad. I've only played a few solos, and the closest I've come to winning a solo is second place. Nice. Nice. No, more than I've done. Yeah, the other day, I, I, after playing with you guys and getting more confident with it, I started to play solo and then got second place. And I was like, oh, I know what I'm doing now. <laughs> yeah, so those of you who don't know like what this um, Battle Royale genre is, uh, it's up to 64 players online, and you all jump out of the, what is it, an eagle? Yeah. Yeah, it's an eagle. And it flies over the map. It's a huge map. It's the same map every time, kind of like what Fortnite was about. Mm -hmm. You jump off at any point you like, and it's just either solo or teams, and you've got to take out the opposition last one standing wins. And there's a circle called the Circle of Life, which I yes. guess is an animal reference. Yeah, yeah, it is. And it shrinks periodically, so you've got to stay within that circle, otherwise the skunk gas attacks you. And that's a way to stop you from hiding out and just getting closer together. Yeah, yeah. It shortens the game a bit yeah. as well. Yeah, there's been times where someone's just sta gone AFK and is just standing there and I have just see my teammate's health just l slowly lowering down. <laughs> What's yeah. AFK? It, it means that you are not able to... So away from keyboards. Yeah, away from keyboards. Oh! <laughs> so, yeah, we had... Because um, quite often we do squads and you'll be paired with randoms if you're playing on your own. And obviously you don't, because it's Nintendo, obviously on the other formats you won't have this problem. Obviously voice chat isn't very, very available. Yeah, I don't know if you can use the app to play Super I've Animal. not tried that actually. I haven't. Maybe but, I should give it a go, you and me. <laughs> yeah, maybe. But um, So yeah, So but when we're playing together, because obviously the three of us have our own Switches. Yeah. And even when I was playing with you online, Marcus... Uh, obviously, at the minute, we're in the same house, so we can communicate with each other talking. But even when we were and we were texting each other in between matches, we were quite on the ball with each other, I found. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the, well, technically, it's not locally because basically you can play from wherever you want. But you have to do the matches when texting. It's hard because I'm keeping my eye on the screen to make sure I'm not ambushed by the an entire team yes. of enemy players because that's happened sometimes when I'm the only one of on my team standing. I take my eyes off it for one second and I already find there's about four guys surrounding me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and also another thing we found was when to jump out of the eagle, mm -hmm. I found was quite significant because obviously when we're able to communicate with each other, even if we had, yeah. You know, so obviously, if you're playing this online with friends, it's fine. You can have your phones to talk through. You can have Discord up or yeah, Skype, yeah. whatever. But when you're playing with randoms, you can't tell them. Like you'll just see your teammate jump out of the the. I keep saying bus because of Fortnite, but yeah, yeah. doing it straight away. And annoying thing is, when you're doing it straight away, I found everyone sort of is jumping out at that time, yeah. so you're instantly surrounded. So I've said to you guys when we're playing. Let's wait until we're over this particular thing, like over halfway across. Yeah, yeah. And then we're on our own there. We can land in like the barn at the farm, mm -hmm. get all the weapons we want, 
and then we can make our way into the circle yep. and we're all armed. We've got the armor. So let's talk about the items you can get. What's your favorite item, Marcus? I say the mini gun. Yeah. <laughs> the light them up. <laughs> Leave no one standing. <laughs> what about you, Sophie? I love the, uh, what is it called? I don't even know guns very well. So what is it called? <laughs> SMG? The submachine gun. Yes, yeah. I like that, that one. or the AK. Yes. Because I like rapid Automatic fire. fire. Yeah, yeah, that one. I don't like having to press the button all the time. Yeah. And obviously you get three different types, levels of armour as well, which are indicated by notches above your health bar. Mm-hmm. Um, you can get like health power-ups as well, so you, so you hold X to heal yourself if you get damaged. Sure. And if your armour gets damaged and you have duct tape, you can hold B to repair your armour. Yes. What about the modes of transportation, Marcus? We have a hamster ball, which is useful for attacking players by running them over. So basically... <laughs> so... Sorry, the interesting thing about the hamster balls is I was on the phone to Sophie because I was at work and I was on the phone to you. Yeah. You were telling me at the time you were playing online with Marcus. Yeah, it was me, you, and after I'd ended the conversation with you... Yeah. You, Marcus phoned me up about a minute later saying, <laughs> I just won a match, like, after Sophie had left. Oh, I'm sorry, and, I was hindering you. And then, then you said to me, like, did you know you can knock people out with the hamster ball? <laughs> <laughs> it's basically a way of just hit and run. Yeah, so yes. the hamster ball, you can't shoot a weapon while using the hamster ball. No, you have to get But out. you can run them over and you go very fast. They're handy for getting away from the storm. You've also got the emu. Yeah, what about the emu, Marcus? Well, the emu is not as fun, but two people can ride on the emu. Yeah, I didn't know that until like you but, said the other day. But can you use the guns on the emu? It no, no it pecks. but it would be satisfying if they had an update where you could there's another player on the back and they shoot the guns at anyone oh, on the ground. Like double dash. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, nice. it'd be really good. But I remember the time um, you thought I was being heartless when I did this, but I saw an emu that we were going to leave behind, but I just shot it because no. I didn't want anyone else using it. Poor <laughs> <emu. a> bit. <laughs> With a oh hamster God. ball, it's not that heartless because it's, it's just a, glass. It's that... just glass. But when you shoot an emu, I'm like, what did that emu ever do yeah, to you? It could, it could have helped the opposition. That is true, but so bad. <laughs> yeah, so obviously on this sort of game, kind of like with Fortnite, you... Um, you don't. You, it tells you where your teammates are, but it doesn't tell you where anyone else is. Mm. But also, it gives you sort of like a line of sight. So mm. if anyone's on the map on your screen, but you're behind a wall, it won't show you they're there unless they're in your character's line of sight. Yeah, and that, and um, you, but you can see them interact with items. So if yeah. you break a box, then you're yeah. like, oh, they're there, and you can hear them. Yeah, yeah. It's you can hear like them, Among Us in a way because there's like a peripheral view, and you. We can see behind walls that someone can then if they are the imposter. Oh, oh. right, okay. So yeah, I, I really like this because it's um really it's very simple to get into. I mean, we're winning a lot of matches together, mm-hmm. whereas Fortnite it took me a long time to actually win one. Yeah. So, but maybe I've not tried it solo much, so maybe it's harder in solo. Possibly. But it's a lot quicker than Fortnite as well. It's a very easy to pick up and play game. Mm-hmm. Uh, what do you think of the characters? I love. That they're animals. I'm currently the pink tiger. What about you, Marcus? I am a yellow fox. And I'm I'm the fox, but I can't remember what I've done with that. I, I basically, because I've only recently discovered there's like in-game achievements and you can unlock things by getting the, like certain yeah. number of kills with a certain gun and things like that. Customization. Yeah. And so, yeah, this game is free to download, but there are some microtransactions in mm. it. Yeah. But from what we've seen, it's just cosmetic stuff. It doesn't affect the gameplay at all. Yeah, yeah. So, you it know... It even you... says, I think. Yeah. yeah. On the, like, on the screen, though, it doesn't... Yeah, so you're not... If you don't pay any money, you're not missing out on anything. Mm-hmm. But um, you can look stylish if you do, though. I, I love it so much. I yeah. love customising your character. It's one of my favourite things, anyway. <laughs> yeah, but I've heard that for other people, this is very sort of un- unrecognised. It's very formulaic for a free-to-play battle royale. Yeah, they it, say it's, it's, it's not a bad one at all. It's a lot of fun, and it, honestly, we've had such a lot of fun playing this together, haven't we? Definitely. <laughs> yep. And for a game that I thought I'd just play once or twice, honestly, I I think it's very good. Any other thoughts you have on this game? Um, I'm waiting to unlock a tiger customization that is an alabrique and i'm very excited i'm not waiting for the panda yeah so tom panda can play along of with course. us <laughs> how about you marcus mm-hmm. what are you excited for 
the turtle. You want the turtle? The turtle. <laughs> or the frog game representation of the best Pokemon in the world, Greninja. <laughs> <laughs> So you, your Switch name used to be Turtle, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, me yeah. Turtle. Yeah, until I changed it to Pokemaster. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you're very much, you think this was worth the money, Marcus, this game? Well, it's free, so it costs <laughs> no money. <laughs> oh, let's go about you, Sophie. Yes. Cool. You think it's worth a download, worth a try, see if you like it. 100%. And again, I honestly, I, I think this is a great game, so... Um, yeah I've had a lot of fun with it just wanted to talk about it and that's what we've done so thank you very much uh, Sophie thank you and thank you for joining us for this one Marcus you're welcome (laughs) so uh, let us know in the comments down below if you've tried this one out uh, what you think of it make sure you hit that like button and subscribe as well for more to come in the future so thanks again for watching everyone see you in the next one goodbye bye